Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcasts. We we just went live last night, so this is a little bit just kind of off the cuff. Uh, please excuse the crudity. Empire, this is crypto. Welcome to it. it it's actually sort of cool because AMP has not really seen swings this violent. But we knew this was coming. We talked about it. We talked about it right here on my on my bad videos. This is crypto, and now this is AMP. And we're going to be discussing it right after this. Please stand by. First, be of good cheer, folks. You're in an excellent coin. And for the late arrivals who bought in at like 12, and honestly, uh, they're probably not going to see this video as everyone is doing AMP videos now. But even for the folks who bought in at 12, you know what? It was a good decision. This is a long-term coin. Slow, steady growth. Almost like I mentioned in a couple of my other videos that I am constantly told don't age well. And they're right. They don't. None of my stuff ages well. Uh, but pragmatic videos rarely do. But I like making them, and I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, thank you very much. I love that people are making the big hype videos now, and I really love how they tout uh, a token that they knew nothing about 10 minutes before it took off. But you know what? They're better YouTubers than I am, so well done, sir. Second, we talked about these wild swings. We talked about what happens when a new crypto lists. It doesn't undervalue an asset. It overvalues an asset. The fundamental nature of AMP, as anyone in the empire knows, comes from usage, not speculation. And anything that goes up as fast as AMP did will come down just as fast. These are, these are not long-term purchasers doing this. And it, really, it's, it's not whales. It is thousands and thousands of small, short purchases that just love FOMO. That's what brought it up. They got bored, market's shaky right now, and they bailed. It, anyone watching the actually watching the, uh, the live ticker, are you seeing the size of the cells? It's not millions in single chunks. It's piles and piles of $500 to $1,000 cells. They were never in AMP for the long haul. Market was down. They saw a penny coin on the rise, so why not throw some money in there and see how high it goes? I could almost swear that I mentioned this somewhere not too long ago. It will rail and it will plummet. This is Coinbase crypto now. It's not a secret anymore. And it will be as susceptible to market volatility as any other Coinbase or big listed token. The fundamental growth of AMP never changed. It's never changed. It is still slow, steady, stable, and just a little bit early. And you know what? You could not be in a better place long term. You just couldn't. I said that I am super comfortable with AMP at seven and a half. Seven and a half cents. I think that's where it should be. The sweet spot right now. I mentioned it on the live stream last night because people were, were pinning me down for a price prediction. And I, I don't like to do them. I don't want to do them. But I felt it was very accurate. And at the time of this video kind of looks like I was close. Not because I don't believe in the token. Not at all. It is absolutely my favorite token, and I don't see anything else even close to the growth potential of AMP. I just didn't believe it was this very moment, and nothing fundamentally changed about AMP that would make it worth 40% more the day after it listed. And I got a lot of heat for it. Nobody likes to hear that their token will go down ever ever but i believed it would because the market is funny that way but folks do not lose faith at all for the real long-term investors they didn't even know anything happened as they don't check charts that much i notice because i do that that's all that's that's really the only reason the the big prize the the moon people like to use that term the moon is amp utilized so if you wanted to put your efforts anywhere, put them there to using AMP. Spend your crypto. You are going to spend money anyway. So spend that. 
utilization is what is going to make AMP go up, 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 and stay up, up, up. That seems to be one of the big chunks that we're missing is that it needs to go there and hold. It needs to stay there. It needs a reason to stay there. You should ask why. Not hype and not FOMO. That isn't what keeps a coin high. If you got in early, you were doing everything correctly right now. If you didn't scalp or, or if you didn't dump any at 12, it, it's not a problem because you're going to see it again. Just keep the faith. But be aware of where it is, why it's there, and if it's going to stay or if it's just visiting. Pragmatic video. I know. I'm a pragmatic value trader. We've discussed this. I get the heat for it. It's cool. But honestly, guys, times are good. They, they really are. They're very good. But please just stay conscious of what is going on right now. And please uh, seize some opportunities when you see them. I mean, I get it. This is not the crypto way. But maybe, maybe there is more than one way to do crypto. That's all I'm saying. If you got in early, you're still up huge. Keep that in mind. AMP isn't going anywhere. It's great the way it is. But I just, I, I, I haven't changed my mind that for it to hit the big epic numbers we're looking for, it needs full utilization. I think everybody's pretty well aware of that. But and and that's the prize. That's the prize. Not FOMO pump and dumps. Stay the course. Live stream on Thursday at seven central. Cheers. <laughs>